humanoid robots just crossed another line. Not tomorrow. Not in a few years. Right now. Four updates prove it. A robot that learns new chores without rewiring. A robot that rallies in one of the fastest sports on Earth. A brand new humanoid running fully on its own. And a famous robot dog that literally took to the air. First up, Figure's latest demo shows its Helix AI brain learning how to load a dishwasher. No special code for plates. No new logic for bowls. Just more training data. The same model that handled laundry and sorted packages before. Now, isolates stacked dishes, places them in sequence, and even reorients fragile items with both arms. That matters. It means the system isn't locked to one trick. It's widening its playbook. Messy rack? It copes. Wrong angle? It corrects. Small error? It recovers on the fly. That's the turning point researchers have chased for years. One general system that keeps growing skill by skill without engineers rebuilding the robot every time. This isn't a party trick. It's progress toward robots that survive the chaos of real homes and real workplaces, where conditions aren't staged and the dishwasher is never lined up the way a neat tutorial wants it to be. If Helix keeps scaling this way, learning from data, not from human micromanagement, you get a machine that improves like software but acts in the physical world. That's when general purpose stops being a slogan and starts feeling real. Jump from quiet kitchens to pure speed. Unitree's G1 just rallied in table tennis. Fully autonomous. No pre-time swing. No hidden operator. Real shots. Real footwork. Real balance. Competitive table tennis is brutal. The ball can rocket close to highway speeds, curve hard with spin, and force a response in under a quarter of a second. Keeping up at that pace demands more than a quick ARM. The robot has to see the ball, predict its path and spin, shift weight, plant its feet, rotate its torso, and time the stroke in one continuous chain. Miss any piece and the rally dies. This is why so many robotics demos avoid fast, reactive sports. They expose the gaps between vision, planning, and motion. Unitree's hitter system stitched those pieces together. The result wasn't a gimmick. It was a whole-body, closed-loop performance. The kind of agility under pressure we usually only credit to trained athletes. And that's the headline. Not because ping-pong is destiny for humanoids, but because the exact wiring that handles a screaming topspin return is the wiring you need for warehouse surprises, factory timing, and quick adjustments in crowded spaces. The sport is a test bed. Passing it means the control stack can handle the tempo of the real world. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss what's coming next. From sports to street smart autonomy. Detroit's Borg Robotics stepped onto the stage with its first public demo of Borg 01 and led with the words everyone listens for. Fully autonomous. No teleoperation. No puppeteer behind the curtain. The robot sensed, planned, and moved in real time. It walked smoothly, tracked what was around it, and changed behavior as the situation changed, without a fixed script. That's a high bar for a first showing, and it sets the tone for the company. Less about polish on a remote-controlled routine, more about getting the core loop right. Perception to planning to action, all on board. Launching from Detroit adds meaning. The city's DNA is mechanical ambition and manufacturing reality. By presenting autonomy up front, Borg isn't promising a distant future. It's telling you where it wants to compete. On factory floors, in logistics corridors, in the kind of dynamic spaces where a robot has to make decisions second by second. Early days, sure, but the intent is clear. If you can walk, perceive and adapt without a human holding the reins, you're not a demo anymore. You're a candidate for work. And then there's the robot dog you thought you already knew. Boston Dynamics' spot has walked, trotted, climbed stairs, danced, carried loads, and inspected sites for years. It owned the ground. Now it treats the air like a tool. Using reinforcement learning, Spot learned acrobatic behaviors, leaping higher, stabilizing midair, and planting landings with a precision that feels more gymnast than machine. That's not just flair. 
Controlled airtime changes the geometry of what routes are possible. It lets a robot choose lines the way a parkour athlete chooses lines. Over instead of around, above instead of through. Add this to Spot's already strong repertoire, and you get a new flavor of mobility. Athletic Locomotion We're watching an icon of ground agility expand into brief planned flights, making stairwells, gaps, and obstacles less like walls and more like choices. If a robot can use the air for a split second the way a human uses a hop, you've just unlocked a new mode of navigation for dangerous, cluttered, or speed-critical environments. Put these four threads together, and you see the shape of what's coming. Figures Helix shows that skill can be taught broadly and scaled with data. That's the software curve finally grabbing physical tasks. First laundry and sorting, now dishwashers, next whatever the training set feeds it. Unitree's table tennis proves that when you integrate perception, prediction, balance, and timing, you can respond at human tempo in chaotic conditions. That is the bridge from lab control to life control. Borg's debut argues for autonomy as the starting point, not the end goal, a robot that walks and decides in the present tense because independence is what makes a machine useful outside a demo. And Spot's mid-air control hints at a future where movement isn't just careful steps on flats and stairs, but flowing choices across complex environments. Individually, each story is impressive. Together, they look like the toolkit for robots that can actually live among us, adapting to our homes, our workflows, and our pace. If you think that's crazy, wait until you hear this. Elon Musk just dropped something that's going to change everything. We're not talking about another car announcement or a flashy tech demo. This is Tesla Master Plan 4, and it's completely rewriting the rules of what Tesla actually is. Forget everything you thought you knew about this company. The future isn't just electric vehicles anymore. It's humanoid robots walking among us, working alongside us, and fundamentally transforming civilization as we know it. The star of this show? Tesla Optimus, a robot that Musk claims will represent 80% of Tesla's entire value. Buckle up, because we're diving into the most audacious tech vision ever announced. Master Plan Part 4 Isn't your typical corporate roadmap. Tesla calls it their blueprint for sustainable abundance. Think of it as using artificial intelligence, robotics, and clean energy to remove every bottleneck that holds humanity back. No more labor shortages, no more transportation limits, no more energy constraints. This isn't just about making better products. It's about creating a world where scarcity becomes obsolete through technology. The core idea flips Tesla's entire identity upside down. For years, we knew Tesla as the electric car company that challenged Detroit and won. Master Plan 4 reveals that cars were just the opening act. Tesla has been secretly building the foundation for something much bigger. They're combining their manufacturing expertise with artificial intelligence to bring robots into the physical world. Every factory they built, every battery they perfected, every line of self-driving code they wrote was preparing for this moment. Tesla isn't pivoting away from cars. They're using everything they learned from cars to build something unprecedented in human history. The plan rests on three massive pillars that will reshape how we live, work, and move. But here's where things get wild. While Tesla talks about revolutionizing labor, mobility, and energy, one pillar towers above the rest. Tesla Optimus isn't just another product in their lineup. According to Musk's own words, this humanoid robot represents the most important development Tesla has ever undertaken. More significant than the Model S that proved electric luxury was possible. More valuable than the Model 3 that brought electric cars to the masses. Optimus is positioned as Tesla's ultimate moonshot. Let's break down what makes Optimus so revolutionary. Musk envisions a world where physical work becomes optional. Dangerous jobs, repetitive tasks, and backbreaking labor could all be handled by humanoid robots. The latest generation boasts 22 degrees of freedom in its hands alone. Musk claims Optimus will be precise enough to thread a needle and skilled enough to play piano. These aren't distant dreams. 
Tesla is already producing several thousand units for internal testing in 2025, with external sales planned for late 2026. If you liked this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't miss next week's video where we'll dive into the most realistic humanoid robots of 2025. The economics behind Optimus sound almost too good to be true. Musk projects a production cost of around $10,000 per unit at scale. Selling for $20,000, Tesla could generate massive profits from each robot. But here's the kicker. Musk believes the market for humanoid robots could reach billions of units globally. He's talking about a future where robots outnumber humans two to one or more. At those scales, Optimus could generate $10 trillion in revenue. That's more than most entire economies. Tesla's guiding principles reveal why they believe this transformation is inevitable. Growth isn't zero-sum in their worldview. Innovation expands opportunities for everyone, rather than creating winners and losers. They point to how semiconductors and the internet didn't replace existing jobs, but created entirely new industries. Tesla argues that removing constraints through technology has always led to greater prosperity for humanity. Physical work limitations have held us back for centuries. Optimus could be the breakthrough that changes everything. The mobility pillar focuses on Tesla's autonomous driving technology expanding into robo-taxi networks. Self-driving cars could make transportation cheaper, safer, and more accessible than ever before. But robo-taxis feel almost secondary compared to the robot revolution. Even Tesla's energy pillar, featuring solar panels and massive battery storage systems, serves the bigger vision. Clean, abundant energy will power the robots that reshape our world. What makes Musk's vision so compelling is how he connects every piece of Tesla's puzzle. The same artificial intelligence that powers full self-driving will control Optimus robots. The same manufacturing expertise that builds millions of cars annually will mass-produce humanoid robots. The same energy systems that power homes will keep robot workforces running around the clock. Tesla isn't building separate products. They're creating an integrated ecosystem where each component reinforces the others. Safety concerns inevitably arise when discussing humanoid robots. Musk acknowledges the risks directly, referencing the need to avoid any Terminator path. Tesla designed Optimus to be physically overpowerable by humans. You can run away from it, and most people can overpower it if necessary. Emergency stop. Capabilities and human oversight remain central to the design philosophy. But Musk's confidence in the technology's safety matches his enthusiasm for its potential impact. The timeline for this robot revolution moves faster than most people expect. Tesla aims to ramp Optimus production faster than anything has ever been scaled in manufacturing history. Musk talks about aspirational goals of tenfold increases in production each year. If they achieve even a fraction of these targets, we could see millions of Optimus robots within the next decade. The compound effects would be staggering. Critics argue that Master Plan 4 reads more like science fiction than business strategy. Previous Tesla master plans included specific vehicle models, production targets, and measurable milestones. Part 4 emphasizes vision and philosophy over concrete deliverables. But Musk's track record of turning seemingly impossible ideas into reality gives weight to even his most audacious predictions. He's already revolutionized electric vehicles, private space exploration, and digital payments. Humanoid robots might be his biggest bet yet. The implications extend far beyond Tesla's business success. If Musk's vision materializes, we're looking at fundamental changes to human civilization. Labor markets, economic structures, and social relationships could all transform within our lifetimes. Physical work becoming optional isn't just a business opportunity. It's a reimagining of human potential itself. Instead of spending our lives on repetitive tasks, we could focus on creativity, relationships, and pursuits that truly matter. Tesla Master Plan 4 isn't just another corporate announcement. It's a declaration that the age of humanoid robots has arrived. Optimus represents Musk's boldest vision yet for technology's role in human progress. Whether Tesla can deliver on these extraordinary promises remains to be seen. 
But one thing is certain. The company that started by making electric sports cars is now betting its entire future on robots that could change everything. The question isn't whether this sounds impossible. The question is whether Elon Musk and Tesla can make the impossible inevitable once again. The robot revolution starts now, and Tesla Optimus is leading the charge into a future we're only beginning to imagine.